Hello everyone and thank you for joining us here at the TIFF Salon. I am the programming director for the Tokyo International Film Festival Shozo Ichikawa. The Persian interpreter is Shole Gorbarian, English interpreters are Say Sayori Suzuki and Shino Nakazawa. We are here at the Tokyo Midtown Hibiya. The TIFF Talk Salon is aimed at joining online the foreign uh, overseas directors who could not come to Japan. And we hope you will have some questions for us. Uh, you're just watching YouTube, and if you could click on the URL for questions, you can get a form and you can fill it in and send in your questions. And maybe the director will answer your question. Please write your questions in Japanese or English. And at the end of the talk salon, there will be a screenshot time, so uh, all you viewers can join in and shoot uh, screenshots and put it up on the social networks. Okay, so let's bring in our guests for today. Uh, the competition film, The Four Walls, the director, Mr. Bachman Gobadi. Hello, Mr. Kobadi. Hi, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 I thank you for joining for all the audience who saw my film. Yes, we have the first screening today, and there will be another screening already on Twitter. Uh, there's a lot of good reviews, like it's a wonderful film. I think the Japanese audiences are going to really enjoy this film. خوشحالم خیلی خوشحالم جالب این این داستان اگر داد باشه چند سال پیش میخواستم اونجا بسازم خیلی دوست داشتم آره به حال とても嬉しいです。なぜならこの実はこの話をですね、日本でこれたかったんですよね。あの、前これ。ついて考えてごらんですね。そう、ファーストオブ、アイドライクトアスクエスチョン。ザストーリーレッチュテル。ザストーリ
گرفت و رفتم یه جای دیگه چطور دست نه چون ما مارو داد تو کی کارایی رون نکاده و کانتیتان دستیان started and then there was some wars between me and my family because I left home, I left my family and about 10 years ago uh, I moved to Istanbul uh, right in front of my apartment I could see the sea and I, well, for one month I was away and when I returned all the trees had been cut down I still can remember very well that one of the trees uh, was falling to the ground and I saw that uh, laborers were there and they were talking in Kurdish so I asked them what's happening and they said uh, we're going to build an apartment building here so I would lose the view that I had of the sea and at the f- oh, I was renting it and so I was so glad that I didn't buy the apartment so I uh, There's always a, a thinking about walls, so that's where it started. I would like to add another thing. I was a child, a child, a child, a Japan, a Korea, a China, I saw them all in one way. And I saw that this is a very good thing, that we are all in one way, in one way. But now, because of the differences or the situations, when I say that I'm a Japanese, I'm a Chinese, I'm a Chinese, I'm a Chinese, I'm a Chinese, خشما رو توی این بچه ها میبینی و ناخدا به یه دیوار تو میبینی آدم ها به خصوص تو منطقه رو خودشون دارن میکشه همه جا هست یعنی بشر استاد دیوار ساختن و بس به جای اینکه دیوارا رو بشکنه ارتباط راحت برقرار کنه شبکه های اجتماعی اومد که راحت باشه اتفاق دیوارا بزرگتر از قبل شده نفرت رو بیشتر از قبل شده Uh, I want to talk about something else. When I was small, uh, China, Japan, and Korea, I didn't know the difference between these countries. And then, of course, as I grew up, this age now, if you say, uh, are you Chinese? Some people say, no, I'm Japanese or I am Korean, and they get mad. So I really felt wars, wars between these nations. And so there's a lot of uh, wars between people, between countries, and uh, mankind is very good at making wars, I think. And I wish that we can break those wars down. I wish I had that talent. Thank you very much. And so the four walls you mentioned, well, it's the title of the film. So I wanted to, um, I, I wasn't um, aware of what it meant at first, but the four walls, the walls I can see, but uh, in the film, Uh, the protagonist is um, uh, experiencing four walls or is it much more symbolic? بله و یه چیز سمبولیکه من این, این شکل روایی رو دوست داشتم بوران به بحانه است برای ما رو ببره داستان آدم های فریتر رو بشناسیم مثل قبل فکر نمی کنم به اینکه باید شخصیت اول ما همیشه جلوی دوربین باشه برای من معزنه یکی از کارکتر از سیاز پلیس خیلی منه خیلی خود منه یه جورایی که عشق هنر رو نقاشی نداشتم ولی بیشتر میخواست بابا میخواست من مهندس و دکتر بشم و تو سری خوری داشتم به اصطلا یا دیوار بین نفرت و عشق بین بوران و اون خانمه این کمی بحثم دیوارهایی که ما برای خودمون 
حائل میکنیم میذاریم بین خودمون Well, this is more symbolic. Um, the walls, I think, um, uh, Boran is the protagonist, and it's not really his story, but there is a story of each of the other characters. And I, th I believe that it's not just the protagonist or the main character, but there are other characters around him, uh, and I want to explain about their characters as well in my films. There's a mosque, the person who prays in the mosque, he is one of the main characters. The policeman is also one of the other main characters, and there's a story behind that. My father was very severe, very strict, and he told me I should become a doctor. He always pressured me about that. So I have a, a respect for, for policemen. And also the wall between with love or between Boran and his mother. And these are all very symbolic. Thank you very much. So we have these questions from the viewers who saw uh, your film today. So uh, we'd like to introduce a question. So the location was very beautiful. So what kind of place that was? And why did you choose this place for the location? Hmm. استانبوله من چند سال استانبول بودم ولی باید به اینم اشاره کنم من اگه فرصت بیشتری داشتم میتونستم جای بهتری پیدا کنم خیلی به هم نزدیک باشه و تو مسابقه قبلیم داشتم میگفتم فیلمسازی در قربت خیلی کار سختیه اونی که فیلمسازه میفهمه چی میگم تو باید میگم لوکیشن رو فهم کنی آدم ها رو زبانش رو من ده کلمه بیشتر ترکی نمیفهمم در 27 روز بیا تمام اینا رو این تیم 70 80 نفر کنار هم بذاری و بتونی حرف تو بیاری توی فیلم آدما همون حرف تو رو دوباره تکرار کنن خیلی خیلی سخت بود و خوشحالم خیلی خوشحالم اینو میشتمم که میگن لوکیشن ها خوب بوده پس تو اون تایم کم و با ندانستن نشناختن لوکیشن های اونجا تونستم این کارو بکنم و یاد تو نمه استانبول هستم وقتی که میرم فرودگاه سوار تاکسی میشم اینه یه پرنده میرم توی قفسی من میزه تو محلم محلم دو کیلومتره تمام تایمی که تو استانبول هستم همش اونجا حالا یک سالم از اونجا به ندرت یک بار اتفاق بیفته مثلا برم اون وری آدم ببینم چون ارتباطم خیلی کمه همش تو محلم این استانبول همون محله میدم پس به این دلیل خیلی شناخ نداشتم تو تایم کوتاه پس خوب بود خوشحالم که دوست داشتم The location was in Istanbul. But what I want to explain is that these people who make films, uh, the location has big meaning to them. So if you don't know about the location very much, you cannot use it as a location for your film. And also the language is very important too. I didn't know uh, many places uh, in Istanbul, and I didn't understand Turkish. And Uh, we shot it in 27 days, and there were uh, 80 to 90 staff. So using these 80 to 90 staff in that location that I didn't know, it was very, uh, it was very tough thing for me. But uh, now I heard uh, that the location was beautiful, uh, the viewer said so, so I was glad to hear that. I didn't know about the location very much, um, but the fact that the viewers felt it was beautiful is very, I'm glad to hear that because uh, I didn't know about that place, but you felt so, it was good. And um, from the airport to... And I was just walking uh, around the apartment uh, in Istanbul, and then I went to the uh, from the apartment uh, from the airport to the apartment by taxi. So uh, I didn't know about Istanbul very much. I just walked around my apartment. But I think the filmmakers uh, would understand uh, that they should know a lot about the location. Hi. Next, this is from the 
のロジャー・ウォーターズの、so、the next question is the one who saw this film. So, ロジャー・ウォーターズ is the producer for this film, and he is the musician who was originally from Pink Floyd. And why did he Why did he join as a producer for this film? ジョブ、チャントフォンタスティン。پروژه من نبودیم پروژه من پروژه هم توی لاس وگاس بود به خاطر گرما عقب افتاد برای سال دیگه تو تایمه گفتم بزنیم فیلم کوچولو رو بسازم که اینقدر دیگه دور نشم از دوربین و اینها و رفتم استانبول و یه ماه ما پری پروڈاکشن و لوکیشن یا بینا داشتیم و گفتم 27 روز کار کردن و بدون کمک راجر غیر ممکن بود این فیلم رو بسازم Uh, well, in fact, uh, I in BBC, and he was he actually was seeing many films, and uh, he said uh, he was interested in my film. And in Hamburg, there was a concert on Pink Floyd, and uh, I went there and I met Roger, and I had uh, I, I ate with him. I, I had dinner with him, and then I talked with him, and then he was... Uh, there's a uh, Kurdistan who uh, got out of the IS and he said he wanted to help these people who got out from IS and he was adopting these kids as well. So we talked about uh, Kurdistan a lot. And uh, I was uh, in Las, Ve Las Vegas, there was this uh, project and I was trying to film that, but uh, it would take more time, so I thought I would go back to Istanbul. And I thought I would take this uh, small film in uh, Tur Turkey. But uh, I applied for the European Fund. And the Roger asked me, so what would you do after this? And then, uh, so I said, uh, I want to take film in Turkey. And I'm waiting for this uh, budget. Uh, but then he said, OK, I will join you. So in that 27 days that I shot this film, uh, that was very tough. So the help from Roger was very helpful. He helped me a lot. So did Roger Wada went to the location, the, the shooting site? Yes, yes. Once he came to the location, 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 and he gave us a lot of energy, and he gave us a lot of detail. He gave us a lot of cinema. که من کمتر سینما گری میشتم که اینقدر شناخت داشته باشه از سینما یا کتاب یا اطلاعات عمومیش در مورد خاورمیانه به خصوص ایران به خصوص مناطق عرب نشین خیلی خیلی آدم آگاه و بروزی یعنی شک میشی باش حرف میزنی ذهن ذهن قوی انگار جوان 20 ساله است 
はい、はい、実はですね、24時間あの、自分のプライベートの飛行機であの来ていただいて、ですごくエネルギーシーな方なので、映画のことはもう本当にびっくりするぐらい、ディテイルズまで全て映画作りとか映画には興味あってしているんですね。で、それだけじゃなくて、本はたくさん読んでる方なんですし、で中近東とか、まあ、イランとか、まあ、アラブとか、その辺もとてもあの興味があって、非常に知識人な方で、エネルギーはもう二十歳ぐらいの。若い人ぐらいのエネルギーなので、素晴らしい方なんですね。はい、ありがとうございます。で、えっとまた別の方なんですが、えっと主演の、okay, えっと俳優さんがなんかロバートデニーロを思わせるようなパワフルな演技で、uh, uh, like、あのロバートデニーロ。And、uh, that was, he was very powerful, and he, I was overwhelmed. So, what kind of person is he, and why did you cast him for a performance? <laughs> اون یه ماه باش تمرین کردم یهو یه روز بیدار شدم سه روز مونده بود به فیلم برداری چهار روز یه هم رفت مسیج داده بود ببخشید من خیلی میترسم زورم به این پروژه نمیرسه و ما موندیم و همه عوامل اومده بودن منم به دستیارم گفتم چیکار کنم تا من یکی رو پیدا گفت که یکی از ایران بیاد که ترکی بلده و من ق... یه بار قبل یادم بود که تو استانبول امیر رو دیدم و بعد امیر رو تا اون موقع فیلماشم نیده بودم و اومد و خیلی آگاه خیلی فهیم خودش فیلم نویس هم هست و خوب سناریو رو فهم کرده بود ما دو روز فکر کنم بایشون با دو روز وقت داشتیم تمرین کنیم و تونست بیاد و خیلی پسر با استعداد و زود فهمی بود زود می فهمی زود می گرفت Uh, I did this audition and for this、uh, Turkish person, and we had a two month rehearsal, and we had this test too. But suddenly, one day,、uh, when I woke up, this Turkish、uh, guy、uh, texted me and he said, I'm sorry,、uh, this role is too big for me. And he said, I, I couldn't do it. So I was so surprised to hear that,、uh, to see that text, and I had only three days.、Uh, Uh, until the crank in, so starting with the film. And this Amir Agai is from Iran, but he can speak Turkish. And so, and so he was suggested to me. And、uh, I met him in, I had met him in Turkey before. And, and I knew that he was a wonderful person. So if he had time, I thought、uh, I, wanted to, I wanted him to be the protagonist. So we had only two days of rehearsal for him.、Um, and he started. To be in front of the camera, to, to stand in front of the camera, but he was understanding this character very much and he was understanding the script very much, so he was very helpful. And this heroine, the lady who appears from the、um, middle of the film, the mother of the accident,、uh, who caused the accident, of the boy that caused the accident, she was also a wonderful, wonderful actress.、Uh, is she Turkish? بله بله الان بعد فیلم هم یه سریال هم بازی کرد الان تبدیل شده یکی از ستاره های ترکیه خوشبختانه و خیلی آدم دیدم و چهره این خیلی خیلی قوی بود و کنار امیر اون بالانسی که میخواستم ایجاد میکرد خیلی بازیگر توانمندیه Uh, she is Turkish and now she's become quite famous. And she's in TV dramas and stage. And so she has a very strong impression, expression. So I think、uh, she's just as strong as Boran. So I thought she was wonderful. Thank you. And I'll move on to the next question. So, towards the beginning of the film, Boran is、uh, shooting these birds with a gun. And I guess it's、uh, necessary, but is this something that happens in Turkey as a, as a job? 
اولین کاری که ما میبینیم بوران انجام میده همون تیراندازی به پرنده در فرودگاه دیگه در واقع برد استرایکه اون آیا این واقعی هست خیلی کار مهمی انجام میدن و هنوز هم کسای زیادی هستن که این کار رو انجام میدن بله من این یه چند تا عکس بود از فرود یکی از فرودگاه ایران دیدم یکی از فرودگاه تو تهران بود این داستان مال 5 سال پیشه بعد فهمیدم توی فرودگاه سنندجم توی دره است که درخت اینا زیاد هست تقریبا قبل از تیکاف شکارچی ها میان و پرندهایی که هستن رو میزنن که توی موتور هواپیما نره در خیلی از کشورهای آفریقایی و خاورمیانه بیشتره بیشتر فرودگاهی که در شهر کوچک هستن همین سیستم کشتن پرنده ها رو دارن و خیلی ها شاید ناپیده و شاید توی استانبول هم باشه و ما اطلاع نداریم برای بحث حقوق حیوانات اینها به خصوص فرودگاه جدید استانبول توی محسوس شده و اطرافش تمام جنگل و درخت و قبلا هم آرتیکل نوشته بودن که خطر سقوط هواپیما توسط پرنده ها هست شاید این چیز باشه و ما نمی بینیمش همچنان که توی فیلم هم اونا بیرون از فرود و نشانی از اون نداری با این توفنگ های جدیدم هست صدا معمولا تا سی چل متر پنجا متر بیشتر نمی رسه و تو صدای هواپیما فرودگاه شاید ما که تو فرودگاه هستیم نشتویم اعتماد داره تو ژاپن هم هست و ما نمیدونیم I saw a picture of these people who shoot birds, and I was the, the city I grew up in. Uh, the airport is in a valley, so sometimes the bird. Um, so, so not to have bird strikes. Uh, this is a job to shoot the birds down before it goes into the engine of the airplane. So maybe in small uh, airports in the forest or in the, I don't know if this happens in other countries, but I believe some, this is a job that's being done. I'm not so sure about um, Istanbul, but the new Istanbul airport is um, surrounded by a forest by trees. So I think there are people who have this job, who do this job. And in the movie, you will see that they are hiding, so um, people don't notice it or see it. But they have new guns which are not um, make, don't make so much noise. So with also the engine of the airplanes, uh, we don't really hear them. But we know that, that this happens. Thank you. So the next question is towards the um, beginning of the film and towards the, there's some music, of course, um, because the uh, main character is a musician. Is this Turkish music or is it Kurdish? Kurdish? Kurdish. Uh, تقریبا 6 تا تراکاشو من ساختم به تکسشو نوشتم یک دو تا از ترکیارم نوشتم ولی ترجمه کردیم به ترکی تجربه خوبی بود برای من در عرصه آهنگسازی خیلی علاقه مندم به موزیک و بخش لایان فک زندگیم هست یعنی خودشو به زور آورد توی فیلم به زور کت ندیگه یعنی غیر ارادی میاد توی کارام و سعی کردم توی جامعه ترکی فیلم رو به زبان ترکی بسازم چون توی ترکیه فیلم به زبان کامپلت کردی ساختن و اکران شدن فکر, فکر نمی کنم بهم گفت تقیی کننده ترکی اجازه نیست و من به خاطر که تماشا چی ترک زندگی کرد ها رو بیشتر بفهمن چون اونجا هم یک اختلاف های هست بین ترک ها و کورت ها و یک انگر و تنفر رو حس می کنم ترک نسبت به کورت کورت نسبت به ترک ها و دوست داشتم یکم در مورد کورت ها فیلم بسازم که کمتر ساخته میشه در ترکیه در موردشون که برای در خواهر خوش رو بشنستم برای بخش بزرگی از جامعه ترکی رو کورت ها تشکیل میدن. 
Um, we are using eight tracks. As six six tracks are, are all Kurdish, and I made the songs, and I made the lyrics. Also, the other two uh, were in Kurd, uh, written in Kurdian, but translated into uh, Turkish. And so, all the films made in uh, Turkey. There's very few that's uh, based. Uh, that's about Kurdish people, but um, there are many Kurdish people in living in Turkey, and I, I think there's some conflict there. So the Turkish and the Kurdish, in order to really understand each other, I wanted to depict the Kurdish people living in Turkey. Uh, the Turkish producer said, you can make it in Kurdish, language, it could be a problem maybe when we release it, and that's why I had to do it in Turkish. in Dream is a famous uh, Tur Turkish uh, musician, and so I uh, worked with him as well, and we smoke, and there's a, a song called Istanbul, and he made that song. He, he, Jose Il Ilyaze is an Iranian a uh, musician, so the other track was, um, I asked him to do it, and we made the music together. Thank you. So we move on to the next question. Uh, this film is very powerful and very serious, of course, but there's quite a lot of humor. For instance, some of the dog scenes or sometimes other, the policeman lights a cigarette, oh, no, keeps asking for a cigarette, and so these are quite comedic or humorous. Was this intentionally done? Uh, <laughs> از طرف جمهوری اسلامی به خودم میگیرم این زندگی در قربت من باید یه بالانس برش درست کنم و توی فیلم هم همینجوری ناخداگاه میاد درونم سعی میکنم کودکی درونم و بذارم همینجوری کودک بمونه و زود رشد نکنه به این دلیل توی تماسان با آدم ها اصلا فکر نمی کنم یه آدم پنجا یک ساله شدم همش میگم من امروزه سیزده چارده سالم شده چون دوباره از روزی که از ایران اومدم بیرون یک شناسام جدید به خودم دادم و این که تماشاچی هم گناه نکرده که داستانهای غمزده من و با همین حس و حال غمزدگی بشنه من دوست دارم بهش این غذای سنگین رو بهش بدم ولی با یکم مزه با یکم تنز که بتونه باش ارتباط برقرار کنه این فیلم قبل از کرونا ساخته است دوره کرونا ساختم اگه الان می ساختم قطعا شادیشو بیشتر می کردم مثلا این پروژه که الان دارم کار می کنم تو امریکا تو دوره کرونا کمپل دوزش کردم یک دو تا موزیک خیلی قوی توش گذاشتم تنزاشو خیلی بیشتر کردم بشر امروز نیاز داره به امید و لبخند و شادی بیشتر از هر روز Actually, uh, like the depression or the sadness, uh, I thought I need to have balance between uh, these uh, emotions. 
I think so, uh, in my life. And I'm away from my home country, and I'm in a place where I don't know. Uh, so I need that balance within me, too. So uh, in my heart, uh, there is a, uh, like my childhood that is only, uh, that is still alive now. And I'm 50 years old right now. But uh, I uh, got out of Iran when I was 13 years old. And so I feel like uh, I'm 13 years old. I'm trying to uh, think I'm 13 years old sometimes. And I want to change sadness to the smile. And I'm trying to cha uh, change uh, sadness to smile. And the viewers who come to see my film uh, in that darkness, I think uh, th they don't want to hear only the har hardships. So, and of course, when we eat something, we need something sweet. So I thought something sweet should be in the film as well. So if this film, in this, uh, if I was to make this film today in this COVID situation, probably I thought I would need more uh, humor in this film. And I have this new project in the United States, the next project. And uh, the, these people who went through this uh, hardships in COVID world, I think they need more happiness or smile or humors. I think uh, these things are necessary for them. So um, I think for the uh, new project, I think I'm going to put more music or and I'm going to change the style of the film more. زندگی داریم دو تا اسم داریم من بهمن قبادی فیلمساز هستم 20 ساعت فیلم سازم و بقیه ساعت عمرم 20 میلیارد ساعت میلیون ساعت من یک انسان معمولی هستم سعی می کنم تو 20 ساعتی که فیلم ساز هستم یک کم از خودم عبور کنم یعنی خودخواه نباشم چیزایی که هر چی که فکر می کنم حس می کنم باید بدم به تماشا چی اونجاست که دیگه می خوام خودم نباشم وگرنه زندگی عادی آره واقعا آره تراژدی اگه می خوای در مورد کورت ها به دوستان میگم میگم اگه می خوای بدون کورت ها کی هستم بیا در مورد من با من مصاحبه کن از من فیلم بساز تا بگم چه وضعیتیه که تو هر جا که میری می خوای زندگی بکنی از 20 قدمی که من برمی دارم حد اقل دو سه قدمش و چهار پنج قدمش رو من به چپ و راز یا به پشت نگاه میکنم کسی نیاد بکشتت بزنتت بدزدنت کاری که رژیم ایران میکنه یا حتی گفتم در کردستان عراقی که اونجا خونه امیدم بود اونجا پایگاه من بود به امید اونجا من رفتم و اونجا رونده شدم به خاطر تحتی شدن به مرگ توسط یک از دولت مرد های کردستان عراق متاسفانه خب اینا رو که نمیتونم بیارم و تماشا چی رو همگیم کنم پس سانسور میکنم یه جایی خودم آنو وطشتا چی ایگا I think uh, these two characters are in one person. I'm making like 20 hours, 20 hours a day I would be a filmmaker, but at the other times I am uh, another person. So I have a lot of tragedy, tragedies in my uh, life and I have uh, friends now, but when I depict the uh, life about uh, Kurds. I feel like I have to depict my life. But uh, so I, I made 20 hours off film. and But I try to make, uh, I try not to put uh, many tragedies uh, in that, those films. I'm in another country f uh, away from the homeland now. And I don't know, uh, somebody might attack me some day. And I have this fear every time every day that someone might attack me. So whenever I, like I'm walking, I look back into me uh, time by time uh, because there might be someone from Iraq, Iraq government or the Iraq uh, Kurdistan. So uh, I had a lot of hope uh, for to make films for the future. But now I have uh, this fear of being attacked too. So that's my life. But I think I don't have to share this harsh life to the viewers or the audience. Uh, so I just put my story aside and uh, put more humorous in the film. 
。はい、えっ、ー、と、えっ、ー、と、もう一つの質問が来てます。まあ、もしかしたら、最後になるかもしれませんが。えっと、またちょっと音楽の質問に戻りますが、so、主人公たちが演奏されていた曲がとても素敵でしたが、俳優さんの中にはなんかリピートできる方もいらっしゃるんでしょうか。もし、あなたにはなんかリピートできる方もいらっしゃるんでしょうか。もし、あなたにはなんかリピートできる方もいらっしゃるんでしょうか。もし、あなたにはなんかリピートできる اولا همشون آرتیست بودن یعنی بند بند واقعیه حتی اون دوست روشندل من که کس که خونه رو واگذار میکنه اونم اهل موزیک وکیل ولی موزیک بود و دوست خود آهنگساز از وداد یعنی هر کی توی فیلم بود خود امیر آقای ساز میزد و غیر اهل... چی میگن موزیک نشناس نبودن میشناختن همشون who couldn't see and who uh, introduced the apartment to Baran, uh, who was the friend of the, uh, the musician and also uh, he was actually a lawyer. And this Amir Agai, who was the protagonist of this film, could play music as well. So uh, they're interested in films or they're actually having profe- uh, music as profession or they have some sort of, uh, relation to music. So the, the time has come, so I think we should stop. We, that was the last question, but this is the information uh, on 4th of November at 2 p.m. We have this Asia Lounge and the uh, director Bachman Gabadi, he will uh, be in that Asia Lounge and there will be the actress Hashim- Ai Hashimoto too. So please uh, apply to see that Asia Lounge uh, talk salon. であの僕が司会しますのでまたお会いします。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。えっと、それはここであのスクリーニングショットを見せていただきます。Okay, so、さっき言ったこうなんかまあこう、手を振るか10秒ぐらいあのポーズをお願いします。نه دل، دلتنگ خیلی دوستشون دارم ژاپنی ها یکی از بهترین هان و امیدوارم آشتی و صلح و زیبایی همیشه تو اون کشور باشه یعنی یکی از دعا ها میره واقعا برای اون منطقه همیشه نگران اون منطقه هستم و دوست دارم هیچ همسایه از قوم دیگه تو منطقه نفرن نداشته باشه و همه گذشت های تلخ رو هم فراموش بکنیم یه روزی و فقط عشق بدیم که بزرگترین مذهب بشر عشقه که ما یادمون رفته آویزونه مذاهب ساخت خود شدیم که اورژینالش رو یادمون رفته و به این دلیل نفرت و کینه بیشتر تو زندگی ما بیشتر شده Uh, I'm uh, always worrying, uh, thinking about you from uh, away, and uh, I'm hoping that Japan will continue to be peaceful. And also, uh, I hope there will be no quarrel or uh, battle between uh, the country's neighbor countries. And that love is the number one religion uh, in the world. So I hope the love will embrace you. In this moment, به این بر این دلیل ساخته شد که اینجوری یه شیک کنیم تمام احساسمون رو تو دستمون بیاریم ولی الان شده تو این انگشتامون رو با 
کامپیوتر و آیفون و اینا تو کامنت های نفرت انگیز میفرستیم من اینو دیدم تو خبر میانه دیدم مطمئنم اونجا هم هست چجوری میشه این زور انگشت ها رو از, از اینترنت و موبایل و اینا برداریم و تبدیلش کنیم به آغوش هایی که واقعا بشه در آغوش گرفت بشه دست داد بشه یعنی کار بزرگتر و بهتری کرد متاسفانه هست نفرت تو این از این انگشت میریز بیرون تو این موبایل لعنتی Well, we have two hands, and that is to shake other people's hands. So, but there, people are using hands for like Twitters or the mobile phone, and they're uh, posting the the hatred comments, the comments of hatred, and uh, they're just uh, letting this hatred flow. So I think uh, the way of using hands are they're, they're, they're not using their hands correctly. I think hands are for hugging, and uh, the hands are to uh, protect others. But regrettably, uh, there's a words of hatred on Twitters and mobile phone, and I, I'm very, I've, I'm very sorry about it. مطلق بر این باورم که آنچه که تو فیلم من هست اگه ژاپنی ارتباط برقرار کرده مال اینه که این دیوار بین این این منطقه هست بین ژاپن و چین ژاپن و کره کره با اون یکی کره باش همه اینا یه دیواری دارن و اون واقعی منظر واقعی از همدیگه همون در حد اون نقاشی فیک پلاستیکیه که بین خودشون گذاشتن یعنی اون واقعیت اصلی نیست به بذارن ملت ها جوون ها اینا این کانکشن ها رو داشته باشن یه عده دیوار می سازن بین ملت ها و باید مردم نذارن بشه با زبان همین موزیک که تو فیلم هست به زبان فرهنگ به زبان عشق دوستی باید اما بتونن این دیوار های لنتی رو واقعا بین خودشون بردارن و این چند سباه کتا رو درست با عشق زندگی کنیم So, in China, Japan, Korea, North Korea, there's a lot of wars, is how I feel. But in the film, eventually, like the reality, um, it's not the it's not like that. We're all humans. We shouldn't build walls. I think we d- should destroy the walls and by using music and through culture, I think we can break those walls down. That's my wish. Thank you so much. Mr. Bahman Gabadi, I thank you. I thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. So there's another screening on November the 1st. And tomorrow,